Okay, you guys, so this uh, video is a little bit different. I did most of the vlogging throughout uh, the uh, first part of the vlog. So this is our deployment, uh, return deployment <laughs> video, right? Yeah, okay. so a lot of things went on. Um, tried to hide or lie or I don't know what the hell I did. I just tried to do my best to not get uh, Vanessa uh, to know what I was doing and try he, to surprise He was her. trying to surprise me and a, I hate surprises. There was a lot of things going on. I had to move things. I was supposed to go to LA, go to Vegas, wound up in Miami. Just a lot of things that I just had to roll with it and uh, figure out because I really wanted to surprise her. You know what? I'm never going to do it again because it's just too much. It was way too much. You know, you know how I had my little calendar, my little countdown going? Well, about two weeks, maybe a week and a half before, you know, I was ripping off my days, I lost communication with him. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Because I talked to him on his deployment every day. We always had a form of communication and the communication dropped and I freaked out. The U.S. assassinated somebody in Iraq and then the, Iraq, right. the, um, the Iranians bombed. Uh, and he told me never to watch the news. So yeah. I don't watch the news. I got messages from you guys um, on Instagram and I was like freaking out. And at that point, I was like, oh my God, he's not telling me anything. After that, he drops communication with me. He mm -hmm. tells me I lost my phone by an email. I am now working nights. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I was trying not to worry. So I couldn't even rip off my calendar because I didn't even know when he was going to come home at this point because I didn't know. Anyways, guys, just check out the video. It's kind of funny. It's, uh, you know, exciting. And I surprised Vanessa, but I also surprised a few other people. Yeah. Well, just check it out. Hey, what's up, guys? So it is uh, about 48 hours, excuse me, about 24 hours since uh, it got delayed. It is 11 p.m. Thursday night for me. I was supposed to leave this morning around 5 a.m. back home and arrive in Baltimore at 6 a.m. on Friday, but that didn't happen. We got delayed. I told Vanessa I was going to be in Vegas on the 29th until she booked everything for the 29th, but I'm going to surprise her and get there. Right now, it looks like Sunday, and then on Monday night, I'm going to head back to, to Vegas and in process and so on and so forth, but this is just typical for the military. Like, we got pushed push back. Today has been hectic. There's, you know, obviously things going on that have pushed a lot of people back coming into the Middle East and out of the Middle East. So hopefully um, we are out of here in 48 hours. Close to eight o'clock in the morning. I'm pretty much packed. I'm gonna go work out. So my room is pretty much cleaned up. A bunch of things I'm gonna throw away. Even here, it's all packed up. I pack really light. I'm gonna do some laundry before I leave. There's some laundry in there. And uh, yeah, my morning routine, as some of you might not know, is I work out in the morning. Around, I get up around four o'clock. I did get up at four o'clock this morning, but I'm actually um, I'm actually downloading movies right now for the plane, and then head on over to the gym, work out for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then uh, come back and just clean up more. Still haven't left, and still haven't heard any news about um, being delayed again. So hopefully everything turns out good. I'll see how this uh, hiding for 30, 40 hours is gonna be with her. See if uh, she calls the base, <laughs> calls my commander. <laughs> the hell's going on? All right, catch you guys later. Shit, we've been pushed back again. We're not leaving until Sunday morning. I already checked in my bags. I have two bags I checked in. So right now, all of us are gonna be living off of our 72 hour bags. So 72 hours bag is a bag that you, you know, you have enough to survive for 72 hours. I'm talking about underwears and um, clothes, change of clothes, I got one uniform. Because of that, I'm not coming into Vegas until Monday. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Hopefully I leave tonight. Maybe I don't, it's just been crazy. Being pushed back, I was, we were supposed to leave Thursday morning, now we're leaving Sunday morning. Yeah, four days. All right. So I got a two hour, three hour layover here in Germany and we're just having Drinks while we wait. So, yeah. Okay, so it's about noon in East Coast time in Baltimore. Landed about 30 minutes ago. We're waiting for our bags. When we have opportunity to leave, we will leave today, and I will be able to see Vanessa uh, today, Sunday, and then whenever she leaves on Monday. Okay, so it is actually Monday morning now. We could not leave uh, Baltimore. All the flights were booked and so on and so forth. I can't go directly to LA because of my unit. We came into the hotel, we got our rooms, I took a shower and I knocked the fuck out. That's what happened. I just woke up and it's um, one o'clock in the morning and I'm wide awake now. When you travel, 
they go through different time zones. You know, right now it's like a 10 hour different time zone, different day. So it's still Monday and I won't technically see her until shit, I don't know when. So hopefully I don't get divorced by the end of this week. <laughs> okay guys, so it is Monday, 10 o'clock in the morning. Our flight doesn't leave until five o'clock this afternoon and we go to Vegas, we land around 10.30 at night. I did talk to Vanessa over the phone. She still believes I am back in on base. So um, uh, it was really hard to lie to her over the phone because she actually told me that she did not want to get surprised and I better not be working on that because she keeps asking me when I'm leaving. She wants to see a documentation, something of anything that says, you know, when I'm arriving and so on and so forth. So uh, I spoke to her this morning for about 10 minutes and then tell her, telling her that I was really busy at work and that I lost my phone and I couldn't contact her and so on and so forth. But um, she was, you know, she wants me to go buy a phone tomorrow or whenever, but I'm not, technically I'm not. It's really hard to keep this surprise with her because I'm here and I'm technically gonna be here almost an entire week without seeing her. Hopefully it's not an entire week, but I hope everything goes through. If she starts getting more suspicious, I'm not gonna talk to her anymore and just surprise her. Keep your fingers crossed that uh, I don't get hit in the face and wind up with two black eyes. <laughs> so we've been on ground less than 24 hours and now we just have to in process and then head home for a bit. How are you liking it? We're home, baby. <laughs> Tired, but home. Okay, so it is now Wednesday night. I'm in Vegas. I'm traveling to Miami to surprise Vanessa. I am fucking sleep deprived. Dude. It's a direct flight, thankfully. It's gonna take about four and a half hours. And then I'll surprise her in a hotel. Um, I don't know what time I'll get to a hotel. Hopefully it's like close to eight. So she doesn't like leave or anything like that. I tried contacting one of the people that are with her, but she hasn't responded through Instagram. So I hope she uh, is surprised when she sees me. I've been really hiding this from her for, actually since my, then, the beginning of the deployment i told her when i was coming back and um because i was gonna surprise her either way so i haven't talked to her since monday i've emailed her one time today told her i'm busy busy at work but you guys know what i'm doing yeah i gotta get into my uniform um, when i get to miami and surprise her i don't know how i'm gonna do it but uh i'm gonna figure out how what her room number is Okay, I just picked up all my luggage. Well, just one bag. Heading to the hotel right now. Probably be there um, in about by eight o'clock. I think I'm just gonna call her from downstairs or figure it out with the bellman. I'm really excited. Uh, total surprise for her. It's a gloomy day, so I don't know when they're gonna do a photo shoot today. I'm really excited about this. I really am. Catch you guys later. So we're almost to the hotel and I forgot to uh, mentioned I'm kind of scared that she's gonna punch me in the face because I'm surprising her here but we'll see what happens I know she'll be really excited I just gotta figure out how to do the angle for the camera but I'm like I'm excited like I'm shocked that I'm doing this <laughs> and uh that she's here but yeah we'll see how it goes in a few minutes you don't need to call her anymore She gave me the remember without knowing. <laughs> so. <sighs> Vanessa! Ah. Vanessa! Thursday and they kicked it all the way down four days I didn't leave until Sunday 
last Sunday. When you lost your phone? Yes, when I lost my phone. <laughs> you don't... Oh, my God. Everybody's telling me not to do it from work, and they're like, she's going to be pissed off, and I'm like, fuck, I don't know. I know, and I fucking told... Did, did Sing tell you I was texting Yeah, her? and I'm like, fuck. And she was telling me, yeah, you screwed up. You screwed up, David. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I know, I was like, he can't have possibly have lost his phone. And I told Kate, I'm like, either he's really fucking stupid. <laughs> I go, this day and age, that you lose your fucking cell phone, your only form of communication, or he's trying to fucking surprise me. I was like, oh. It seems weird. It seems so weird. Like, it's so fucking weird. What? You need chocolates? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna eat chocolates. Look at, I even have David with me, fucker. <laughs> She calls the operator and says, hey, can you uh, pass me through uh, to room 756? And I'm like, I don't need, you don't need to call her anymore. You know, inadvertently give me your room number. Because she couldn't, you can't give the room number out. And then you told them what you were doing? Yeah, I was telling them what I was doing. I was just like, can you help me out? If you can't, just call her room and I'll tell her to come down or whatever. Oh my God, it's so weird. I had, I knew I had, a, I had like some feeling. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, he couldn't have lost his phone. And I'm like, I swear. And I was just telling Kay, I'm like, I think he's just dumb. <laughs> I was like, how did he lose his phone and be without communication? Tell so wait, me. so what are we doing? Are we going to, uh, going to LA? Well, <laughs> that's another thing. I have to go back to work on Monday. To Vegas. To Vegas. And I want to surprise the kids, all of them. Oh my God, you're so crazy. You're so fucking crazy. Oh, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I missed you. No, it's so weird. It's so, <laughs> it's just so weird. Like, it's like, it's weird. Like, you're here and I'm like, what the fuck? Am I dreaming? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I feel like crying, but then I'm like, I'm still like, is this fucking it's real? It's a surprise, yeah. It's, that's, I just wanted to shock you. I told you, don't fucking do that to <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, you did. I was already here when you said that. <laughs> Where were you? Uh, Baltimore. So what did you do so I couldn't get a hold of you? I deleted my apps. I turned off my phone. You know, took off. WhatsApp and Snapchat and Instagram. So there's no way of me contacting you. So this is an interesting vlog. So David, as you guys know, surprised me here in Miami. And I gotta go to work. So you gotta go to work with me. Yeah, we're gonna head out right now and um, surprise Kate and- And Carmen. It's really, really weird that he's with me right now because for one, I'm working. Two, he wasn't supposed to be here for like another week or two. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had a husband <laughs> in like, <laughs> seven months so i'm like i don't even know how to act i'm like what the hell it's nice don't get me wrong but it's just it's it's a weird carmela oh, hi guess what i had a guy come over last week oh my god you're <laughs> i was like what can you believe this part? i fucking froze when you said that i'm like you're, i was gonna say you're married bitch <laughs> Oh my god, he just gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Carmen, how do you think I felt? I, I froze. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. Oh my god. How wonderful. He fucking came home. That's awesome. Isn't that crazy? I was like, welcome home. No wonder, because the other day you were talking to me. I don't want no surprises. Yeah. What are you going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. Hello. Amiga. I'm so disappointed in this bitch. Okay. You don't know what she did last night. I had a guy come over. Ay, <laughs> <Ay, laughs> <I'm also. laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my Oh my Oh my God! Qué susto. <laughs> Llegó un uniforme y todo, güey. Ay, no. Qué bueno. Valeria, I want to meet you. Hola, 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 yeah. <laughs> Frozen. Menos oh la que no le dijiste. God. Bien. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Oh my God. I wow. Love. What a great surprise. <laughs> my husband's home. 
David, oh my God, guys, he's back and he's going through people's food. David, we just got back from dinner. Stop. This is the kiss of the year. Oh my God, David, are you really gonna eat that? Oh my God, David. <laughs> it's still warm. You're. What if they pissed in it? <laughs> David Moreno. David Moreno. A champagne and um, crap, crap, crap. Oh no. Ew. David, why are you eating someone's quesadilla? I'll buy you a quesadilla. Do you do you really need money for a quesadilla? No. They pay like twenty dollars for a quesadilla. I made it for free. <laughs> now we have something in there. Oh my god, I can't. David Moreno is back. And you guys want to know what he has in that bag? More food. Stop. Go away. Go away. Go away. You just ate. We just had a badass dinner with lobster. He's back. Get ready. The videos are only going to get crazier. So, guys, you guys now watch the video of our surprise. And, you know, we had a blur I'm out. I'm never doing that ever again. Oh, never my God. surprising you. So, did you guys saw where the part was blurred out is because my boob was literally hanging out. So, I have to explain a few things. So, it was really, really funny. First, he call, I lost communication with him. I was worried. I was concerned. I didn't know anything. I was telling Kate, like, something's going on. Something just doesn't feel right. Like, I don't know what to do. I couldn't communicate with him. So, before he left, we went on a pre-deployment, like, kind of counseling in order to teach uh us like wives especially me because i had never been uh, with somebody first in the military secondly like in a deployed so they told me that if i was ever worried or concerned i could call the red cross <laughs> or i could call their commander so i was like you know what they oh i told my commander hey i'm gonna surprise my wife please don't fucking communicate with her please don't and i told not only her i also told my chief and obviously everybody at work so right so <laughs> After like three days, I'm like, you know what? F this. I'm going to call because I have rights. I am his wife and I have the power of attorney and I need to know where my husband is at. Like he told me he lost his phone. So um, I called his boss and I called, I text her and I was like, hey, I was like, is there any way that you could tell David to call me from the office phone, from an email or some sort? Because I can't get a hold of him and I'm really, really worried. And she kind of tried to play it off and was like, okay if i happen to see him if you happen to see him like what do you mean you guys work together like well, send him an email well, right now we're like a mile apart so okay it doesn't know. matter she's a lot closer she, than i am you know so anyway so then at that point he did email me and say to me like um oh that's when he said i'm working nights now and i'm like working nights i'm like okay so then we had a 12 hour time difference so i'm doing the calculations and now i'm in miami so i'm trying to figure out like it's okay well it's your nighttime, my daytime, you're awake. Why aren't you emailing me? Like, what is going on? So I was like really, really freaking out. I didn't have like a, a bad feeling. I just had a weird feeling. Like I knew <laughs> something wasn't right. And um, so I ended up calling his boss again. And I was like, hey, he needs to call me. And so then he calls me when I'm flying from LA to Miami. Miami. I was with, with um, Carmen. We're flying out because we're going to go work for Kate. And then, you know, I tell him, like, where are you at? Because the number came in, like, as a local number, like yeah. a 310 number. I'm like, oh, he's in L.A. And then he goes, no, you know, from, you know, we're in the mid Middle East and we need to call our central office, which is in, like, LA, LA to mm -hmm. call in. So then I kind of thought, okay, well, maybe he did lose his phone. Like, that does sound real. So then I was like, you better not effing surprise me. You better not fucking surprise me, David, because I, I can't deal with this right now. Like, I have so much going on. Like, I need to know what's going on. He's like, surprise you? Why would I surprise you? And I was like, okay. So then he, he knew not to surprise me. I heard the tone in his voice. He played it off really, really well. So then we get to Miami. And again, communication drops. There's no communication whatsoever. I was like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? You know, this and that. And I'm like kind of freaking out, but I'm so busy in Miami with Kate. I mean, I was so busy that it was like, he was on my mind, but he would just like pop right out because then I had to like go and do something. And then like, right when I would have a time to think about, hey, I haven't heard from my husband. Then it was like, boom, I had to do something else. So it was just a constant, like, I was like, if I have enough time, I'm going to call the Red Cross because now I'm, I'm really concerned. <laughs> what? You're going to call the red cross thank god i fucking came on on time i know right <laughs> it, it wasn't like a feeling of like he's cheating or he's like in danger it was just like it just didn't feel right so the night before we had gone out to go have some drinks i didn't want to drink much i was like you know what like i i'm just not i'm not gonna drink i'm not gonna drink that much you know 
and I didn't and I went to my room and I went to sleep and um I had chocolates and gummy then gummy words like uh gummy bears like when he was on gone her bed when yeah I went and like when him. he was gone like now I'm back on a diet you guys know so when he was gone like the thing that would like fulfill me and make me feel comfort was food so I just instead of like working out I'm gonna look over my husband come home I was like Whoa. I was just like eating and eating and like it was a little bit FaceTime I would just show my face like that's it you can't see nothing else you know because i was i was gaining weight and i was like fuck what am i gonna do but that was the only thing that was like like satisfying me i guess you should say was food so then when i went to sleep and then in the morning i don't know if you guys were able to hear like in the video completely he knocks on the door and i'm thinking like fuck it's fucking housekeeping right so i was like oh they'll go away if i don't answer then they knock again like the police and i'm like no thank you like i yell like thinking like it's it's uh housekeeping and then i hear silence i'm like oh they went away and then i hear another knock and then he says vanessa and i knew instantly that was him so i get up from the bed and i'm like looking around like i'm a little frazzled like surprised i was happy i was shocked like there was so many emotions like running through my body even my titty was happy to see him <laughs> literally when i opened the door my boob this boob this boob was just out just like ah! And it was just, and he was like, oh, whoa, okay. Yeah, so after that, I had to fly back to work to Vegas um, and then fly back to LA and then come back. And it's just a lot of traveling. It's, you know, I think I'm good now. It's been over maybe a month. Yeah, it's just, it's been a month. We've uh, had to readjust uh, to everything. At first, it was really, really good. Like, we got back. We missed each other. We loved each other. And then... For we, about 48 hours. <laughs> yeah, and then it, like, it was like, oh, shit, now what do we do? And, you know, and now, you know, it's been a month. And, you know, we, we came right in from, you know, being in Miami. Then he went to uh, Vegas, came back. Then we went straight into having six kids in one house, which was you know crazy you know thank god i have backup i have nannies and stuff like that but still at the end of the day we're the responsible parents doesn't matter who we have here so it was a lot and then you know me with work and the you know my cbd line and you know him you know going deciding you know he's gonna go back to work and just everything has been so chaotic and like for the first time and you know in our relationship we actually had issues like where we're like fighting or arguing over things that we would never argue about. So I guess I put that out there because I, I like to be transparent with you guys and our relationship isn't perfect, but you know, we need to just, communication is it. Like, I mean, it's gotten to the point where I'm like, David, what's going on? You need to sit down and tell me what is going. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't even want to tell me. So then, you know, we work through our, our problems and on our, and our situation and now we're like in a better place because there's always a solution. Like. When I got married to David, I said, I am not going to get a divorce. I do not care. Your girlfriend can move in whatever. <laughs> what <the fuck> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but I meant like, you know what? This is it. Like, we're, we're not doing this. Like, I'm 43. You know, I've been in to, you know, another marriage, a serious relationship. Like, I'm like, I'm not doing this again. Like, at the end of the day, like, no, like, this is, we're going to make this work. And yeah, that's where we're at, you know, and <laughs> I hope. So yeah, guys, that's a little bit of what's been going on in our life, but I just really want to say I hope you guys enjoyed um, this vlog. Thank you guys again for all your DMs and all your support. You guys really helped me through this deployment. I really, really want to say thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys subscribe. If you guys haven't subscribed, turn on your notifications, and give us comments. Leave share us Share Vanessa's page. Yeah, yeah, share Life of Vanessa Sanchez. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye.